Good morning, crafty peeps. Welcome to our third Craftology box tutorial. Today, I want to use some of my scraps to make a layered kind of photo booth card. I really love these stickers on here, and I'm probably going to back them up with chipboard or some cardstock. I'm not heavyweight cardstock. I'm not really sure yet, but I'm going to get to that. So first of all, I'm going to get out my cute Tiffany blue, or at least I call it Tiffany blue. It could be more like a Robin Eggs blue. Five by seven card, okay? And I think it is just so adorable. And I decided that I wanted to do some layering. So for our first layer, which I decided to go with a solid black card stock, is six and seven eighths by four and seven eighths, okay? And so that'll be the first piece to my layer. Okay, so that gives it like a one eighth inch border. And then on my second one, or actually shall I say my third layer because your card is your first layer, um, it's going to be six and one eighth by four and a quarter, okay? And then it gives this really cute, it looks like about a quarter inch border all the way around the black. So I'm really liking this so far. Thinking it's looking really cute. Definitely, this is going to be a girly card. The last one I made was like a more, you know, one for a boy. Could be a girl too. It doesn't matter. Really, a unisex card is what I would call that one. Um, let's see here. Let I'm thinking I want to do like a background border, and I did save some of these pieces, and I think this is really cute. Or I could do, I could bring that green back in. This is from that cupcake paper. And I decided to save some of my scraps from another tutorial, which y'all are going to see very shortly. Um, and I'm thinking I may put this up at the top. So let me go ahead and get out my art glitter glue. And I'm going to do a little thin strip. Approximately, oops, whoa, let's not glue on top of our paper. There we go. I'm just going to get these little points right here. I got to kind of work fast because this glue does dry fairly quickly. And I don't want to mess it up. I decided not to ink my edges for this particular card. Um, I kind of like um, the way it looks right now, but I'll decide in the end what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to line this up as high as I can. And I have a little bit of wiggle room right now because the glue is not exactly dry yet. Not really sure how I like if I like how that white part lined up right on a star. Looks a little bizarre, but that's okay. We'll just work with what we've got. So I'm going to go ahead and snip off that little edge there. And you could actually carry it on, and I may do this on the bottom too. Let's see, but I've also got this one too and that's really cute also so I could go with that but I'm not really sure yet um I do have like some birthday candles let me see here these are some of my other scraps kind of like I don't know yet Right now, I'm just not feeling it. So in the meantime, <clears throat> I'm just going to stick with what I've got so far. And then I really kn I know I want to use the banner. I think I'll use the make a wish. And I'm trying to see if I have any 
of the polka dotted paper strips left over in my stash, but I'm not seeing that. Um, let's see what we have over here. Oh, I like this little border. See, so we have a polka dot border. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. And I'm just going to line it up evenly. And I'm sorry for all the mess. But we know scrapping is messy. And I'll just keep that there for another card. Okay. And then I'm kind of liking that let's party. I might go with that one. But let's see. So in the meantime, I can go ahead, and now that I know I'm not going to put anything on the back or underneath this layer, I can go ahead and glue it down. So I just get out my art glitter glue, and center that as much as I possibly can. And that looks pretty good. Get in my bone folder and burnish in the edges. I can also go ahead and attach it to my card. So you can use whatever adhesive you're going to use. Like I said, I like the glue because I have a few seconds to maneuver it around. Or finagle my alignment. And again, burnish it in. And when I do my layering, I always kind of start with the bottom for first. Um, and then I kind of build up from there on top of that. So I'm going to get out some leftover chipboard. So let me go through my junk here. I always have a little stash of scrap papers. Okay, I don't have chipboard, but I do have this heavyweight cardstock. So I may use that. I'm going to get out my photo glue sticker. And I'm going to go ahead and butt it up on both ends here. And then just fussy cut around the edges. Where's my Tim Holtz scissors? I love those. Oh, there they are. Okay. Phew. Oh, so I lost those. I would go crazy. So I like these because they kind of have like a rounded edge to them. And so it's easier for me to um, go around my rounded corners. So I'm going to see if I like this height, and if not, then I may add, and this isn't too bad, but I can still see some of that green back there, so I'm going to get rid of that. So 
So I'm going to kind of, what I like to do is go a little bit over the edge. And right now I'm just going to glue in just a little bit here. And once I'm done placing everything, I will do an official glue down of everything. But I'm just trying to get this in place. And this is kind of how I work things. So if I decide to move something around, I still have that ability to. And then I like my little banner up here. And I'm thinking it could be like, maybe like this way. Oops. I'm going to put that one to the side real quick. And I don't know why my whole thing is turned around here. Hold on. You can't see this, but somehow my cart got all the way turned around. I'm going to get out some of my pop dots. And I like using pop dots too first to see if I want to move it around. If I want to move it around, I still have that ability to. Okay. So this just kind of gives me an idea so far. And I'll put that off to the side for the moment. And I'm really wanting to get something in here. Let's see. could possibly do. Let's see how this looks. That looks pretty cute. And you could actually like use a photo of that person. Um, but I'm going to pop up this um, make a wish. So I'm going to get out some chipboard. Well, not chipboard, excuse me. I only have black cardstock. So I'm going to get that out, a little scrap of that. Oh, that's a nice little tag. Hmm. Goodness, it seems like all my little pieces of paper are written on. There we go. Found one. I'm going to put that one back on the thing real quick and then just cut around this. Goodness. Y'all are like, what is this hot mess today, Miss Kim? It is a hot mess. Okay. And then for this, I'm thinking I may do something where you could slide in a photo. So I'm going to use one of these little see-through um, these are by Hobby Lobby. I don't know what you call them, but they just hold pictures. Sleeves. Photo sleeves. And I'm just going to kind of cut along the edge here. And I like how I've kind of left this as a little pocket there. So this little edge here. And so now you still have the ability to slide a photo through there if you want to. Okay.
So I'm just trying to figure out exactly where I want to place everything and what looks, you know, eye pleasing. And so far that looks okay. I might pop this up a little bit. And it is going to be a little hard to pop this up because, you know, this back is slippery. And I'm just hoping that these little styrofoam things will stay on here. And you also still want to make this where it will go in the um, envelope. Oops, yeah, they're not going to stay on there. Okay, so that was a bad idea. <laughs> okay, I kind of figured they weren't. Maybe if I glued it on there, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, but I will actually glue this on to here. And I'm just going to do a little squirt there, there, and there. And here. Then I can actually pop this up. And I'm actually going to use my art glitter glue so that these will definitely stay. It's looking so cute so far. Okay. Sorry, I've got such a huge mess going on. Good grief. Okay. So, I'm really liking how this is turning out. Um, we could do... Let's see. We could do this one where it says, May all your wishes come true. Um, we still have our banner, which that walked off. How is that possible? Oh, it's over here. I'm going to go ahead and take off. this because I do want it to stick pretty well. Okay, so I'm just going to burnish that in. It's looking so cute. And then we have this. I kind of like that. But I already have the Make-A-Wish. Maybe I could not use that one. <laughs> okay, I know I'm not making any sense here. This will be cute. A little camera. Yeah, I'm loving that. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pop up the little camera. And you know me, more art glitter glue. Going to make these stay. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. I love to make a wish. Okay, so now that card is almost done. Um, I'm going to use some of my um let me see here real quick. I know I have some like actual birthday card. Um things already cut out. Or at least I thought I did. Hold on. I apologize. So basically the last part is just putting your, your word sentiment on the inside. And I'm sorry. I'm trying to find them real quick. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> Party till you pop. So I think I'll add that in there because it still has that blue. Or maybe the congrats with the polka dots. Eh. I'm thinking I'll do the... Um, Oh, maybe the birthday fun admit one. Hmm, no, no. Let me move that out of the way. I'll do the party till you pop. Or you could even use a solid one like this little birthday candles. I might even use that one. Hold up. Let's see what's going on. I might use this one because I want to keep this card feminine since I've already started off with a feminine tone. And I could do Be may your all may all your wishes come true. I'm gonna go ahead and black this back this up with some black solid cardstock. And I'll just fussy cut this out and then glue it on, and then that is it. So this is a really pretty easy tutorial. I think what did this take me like you know 20 minutes maybe. And that's because I had no idea what I was going to do. <laughs> so. Anyway, well, I just wanted to um, finish up this really quick tutorial for you. I've got a few more to give to you. I really love this collection, so I'm pretty excited about it. Um, so I hope you all have a wonderful and fabulous day. Don't forget to share your finished projects on um, our Facebook page, Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations. I cannot wait to see them. In fact, I love, love, love seeing all y'all's projects. So don't think we don't. We love, love looking at them. But anyway, I'm just going to center this. So I have some area to write my little message that looks so cute and then I can just put it on in here or actually I think I'm going to back it up again with the same size black cardstock 
Um, anyway, well, I'll be at, um, I'll show you photos um, at the end when I'm all done. So I hope y'all have a wonderful and fabulous day. Bye y'all.